It's your buddy, Big John and G. Two Gun Fixit presents Legendary Gaming. And here we are finding ourselves in another Monday. Around Midtime, here in Midtown, Manhattan, a lot of M's. <laughs> Hope everyone's doing well. Hope you're all safe and sound. And I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you today about. Oh, what's over there? Oh, well, she's sleeping. I wanted to talk to you today uh, about something you've been seeing me do. You saw me do a lot of for a while there, and that's gaming with Alexa. You know, like a lot of you, being a board gamer, I felt, you know, really hit on my hobby. You know, if your hobby is, is running, I still see people out running. If your hobby is bicycling, I still see people out bicycling see people out hiking in my local park. Most of the time they're doing it separated and apart from each other enough. But as board gamers, like I've already talked about, we've taken a fairly big hit. Outside of some remote gaming that a few of us have been able to do and link up with each other, I also found Alexa, which I mentioned a little bit of, and not like I found it like she was hiding behind a tree or something and it was a game of hide and seek. <laughs> but I did come across an article uh, about gaming with Alexa. Board gaming with Alexa. Even role playing with Alexa as the DM. So as uh, it seems that a lot of you saw, I decided to delve into this. And I dove into it pretty big. In fact, I'm going to do a whole episode on Dungeon Adventure all by itself. But for right now, I just want to talk a little bit more, more generally than specifically about this. Because there's so much more that I've read about, but I haven't personally experienced yet. So I have no first-hand uh, thoughts, facts, researched opinions on it. So I don't feel like that's fair to do that as part of like a review kind of thing. But here, just just shooting the breeze and making sure you know up front what I know firsthand and what I have read, what I have heard or discovered secondhand. I want you to know the difference going in. I think that's important. But just because something is secondhand doesn't mean I can't talk about it. So firsthand stuff. I felt like I had to get over the whole stunted Alexa conversation. I definitely had to get over that, uh, especially more so with the RPG games uh, running with her. Because as a DM, I can't imagine doing this to my players all afternoon. Actually, it kind of reminded me of 2XL. Anyone here remember 2XL? I'm not talking about the crappy 90 remake they made of that. I mean the original 80s one with the 8 tracks. That's kind of what Alexa, her speech pattern, calling it a her, says a female voice, it's an it. Uh, it's, it's voice pattern, although female, sounds very similar to the stunted speech pattern that 2XL had. So maybe on one hand, Growing up with 2XL and playing with it all the time uh, softened it up for me now having to hear it that same style with Alexa. Maybe not. Who knows? But there is a similarity between the two. And I had to get used to it because it was... I hope she's not listening. It was a little annoying. Okay, she's still asleep. Asleep. <laughs> No, uh, uh, seriously, I did have to get used to it. But once I did, uh, and I was able to go with the flow of hearing Alexa speak and not getting annoyed by it, <laughs> I found that I had fun. The 
choose your own adventure style game with the Dark Citadel, which has some RPG features built into it, which is kind of cool, and I, I like that. But it's uh, still more of a choose your own adventure than an RPG like like uh, Dungeon Adventure is. The choose your own adventure was good in itself. It was good, but I've noticed now with playing two different Alexa games that. And this obviously makes sense. They're not using the same voice actors all the time. And let me tell you, in the Dark Citadel, that voice acting was hard to get through. In fact, if anyone at all working for Amazon hears this video, watches this video, sees what I have to say, I can do a better work of voiceover for you than whoever it is you hired for Dark Citadel. That was absolutely horrible. Horrible acting. But that being said, the story itself was kind of fun. Dungeon Adventure. And again, I'm going to talk about both of these games separately by themselves, but just to go over quickly. Dungeon Adventure I had more fun with, partly because that was a pure RPG, much less of a Endless Quest style game. Now with this, I had a little bit trouble remembering the exact way to phrase certain commands to Alexa. But getting past that, the game was a lot of fun. Now, there's a lot of other games that you can do. There's a few other choose-your-own-adventure-style games. But what I wanted to mention, and this is all just hearsay, this is the part of it that I don't know for a fact, but I've read from other individuals who have reviewed this game from the Alexa point of view, or not point of view, but from Alexa's working working of the game, and teaching, and teaching. Alexa's able to teach you this game, how to play it as well. And that's Ticket to Ride. Now, you have to have a copy of the game in order to play with her, or have her teach you it. But I understand, I think, and I could be wrong, because again, I, I, I don't have this, I haven't played this, I haven't downloaded it for Alexa, I don't know firsthand, but I believe I also remember hearing that they either have come out with or are working on Ticket to Ride Europe. That's the one I have. So, I'll check that out. In fact, by the time this drops, I may have already gotten to it. Because this will probably drop a few weeks uh, ahead of everything else that I'm doing right now. <laughs> so there's a chance there may be a little bit of a time warp here, everybody. But that being said, uh, if it is available for uh, Ticket to Ride Europe, I will, I will I will try that. You may have already seen it at this point. This could be a whole timey-wimey thing going on. Call the doctor. Which doctor? Never mind. We're not getting into that conversation. But Alexa's supposed to be real tough. Almost. Didn't say completely. Almost impossible to beat. Now, as most of you know who've watched my live playthroughs, especially the solo showdowns, I tend to lose in the first place to begin with. But part of me thinks, if she's so tough to beat, and I usually lose, I'm gonna win this game! <laughs> so, have any of you played any of the Alexa-enabled games? Or is there uh, something similar? I, uh, maybe Google, does that have something set up? Let me know. Actually, we have, we have the Google too. So if there is, I can try that as well. But um, what ones have you tried? And if not, you should. Give it a shot. It's free. She runs everything. Give it a try. I mean, you'll like it. But if you have already, let me know what you thought of it. Let me know which ones you've tried. Put down in the comment below. All right, everyone, thank you very much. I'm your buddy, Big Johnny G, for Two Gun Pixel Presents Legendary Gaming. And my friends, I am out of here now. Ha!